Thanks, Sean. Hello, everyone. My name is Doug Tidwell, and I'll be taking you through demos of all the products in our SDA portfolio working together. We'll start in CloudBCD. This is a release pipeline that automates the release process from source code to build to automated testing to deployment. The first step in this pipeline invokes CloudBCI to build the release candidate. CI pulls the code, builds it, runs some automated tests, and packages the code. As Sean mentioned, we've done some great work to integrate CI and CD. I've started the pipeline already, so CI's automated build is finished. We can look at enhanced results from CI, including the console log, details of the latest code commit, test results, and the artifact created by the build pipeline. And it's one click to go to CI if I want even more info. Sean mentioned the ability to manage everything as code. Within CI, I can create new managed controllers directly from code. And within CD, I can work with my release pipeline as code as well. That lets me put my resources into a source code management system so I can version them and take pull requests when we need changes or fixes. Back to the release pipeline, I'm stopped in the QA stage, waiting for manual approval before the pipeline continues. The first step in this stage deploys the new artifact into a QA environment. The way I've got things set up, anything that goes wrong here won't impact anything else, and it doesn't change the original application currently running in production. I've automated the deployment of the new artifact, and I've done some other sophisticated things that we'll look at when we talk about making everything resilient. Finally, for automated rollback, I can use feature flags to control which features of the artifact I deploy and turn them on or off while the code is running. We'll take a closer look at feature flags in a few minutes as well. But that's a quick look at how our SDA products work together to make everything automated.